one of the most important things whenever you're doing diagnostic uh, wax up work is to have really crisp architecture between the teeth and the gingiva in the doctor's impression and in your model. Any imperfections there create problems. So you always want your doctors to, to get really crisp gingival architecture and, and then you're in good shape. Now this case has a lot of rotations in the teeth. Teeth are in, teeth are out. You can see is by generating uh, just a real quick suck down uh, out of the screen coping material. And we use this for our gross reduction guide. Arbor band. So what I've done is I've taken the distals off both centrals. I've taken the, the lingual of number 10 and the mesial linguals of eight and nine. Since we have to make two gross reduction guides, you mark the first one because these are gonna be done in sequence by the doctor. Here's our second reduction guide that I'm gonna use for the slice through preps. So I'm gonna gross two. So now, after you've done our slice through cuts, the, the matrix, you kind of need to come in here with Bard Parker and clean up the, the flash, because this plastic gets a little feathery. Now we'll pop this off. And you can see what we've done. We've, we've cut almost to the top of the papilla in between every two. But we've got this slice through now, so we're starting to create the interproximal space that we're going to need to get a nice composition. So now I'm going to go ahead and come in with the disc, go ahead and complete my possible slices. Uh, if you look at the width of number eight, it's right at eight millimeters wide. And I have a chart that I made years ago, and you can tell it's well used. Uh, but for an eight millimeter wide central, to have a 76% length to width ratio, you need to be about 10.3 millimeters long. Generally, you can't go that full length, but but this is this is used as a guide, and it's based on the gold proportion. So that's how this is set up, and that's what I try to follow. And that's our go by. These are cheap. Six, seven, and eight. And, and these are going to set the stage for nine, ten, and eleven. And of course, the buys are going to be pretty simple. So, what we're going to do is we're going to scan this in with the, the opposing and the bite. And then I'll come back and blow this wax off and finish prepping everything. And we'll scan the preps. And, and then the designers can design the wax up.
So our wax pattern is back from the milling center. This is the way it comes packaged. Take it out. And this is how they should fit. It should go right to place. When you press on one side versus the other, you get very little deflection. But you can see how nicely this meets the margins. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish the wax up. The mandrel. Again, it kind of a moderate RPM. And you just let the foam buff the wax. Okay, so once we got the wax up done, uh, we duplicated it in stone and cross mounted the duplicate model. And the reason for that is we have to make our putty matrices. There's going to be three prep guides and one for temporaries. And the one is the matrix. While it has its, it's a Siltec putty with a lot body polyvinyl silicon wash to get the, the detail of the wax up but it's also got the imprint of the lower teeth so that the doctor can load this with the autocure temporary material and then seat it in the mouth and the patient can close and bite this thing to place gently. And, and the way we, we've made this, you can see it, it's milled out for the incisal edges and for the cuss tips. It guides the, the matrix to place and you'll never get your case canted in, in the temporary phase. We make a putty matrix that clicks on to the rugi of, of the ball to the mouth for an incisal edge reduction putty matrix. Then we make two putty matrices uh, for facial reduction. One that's cut back on the line between the the body third and the incisal third. And then the second one is cut on the junction between the body third and the gingival third. That way the doctor can put these putty matrices in the mouth and make sure that they've got a uniform reduction in relation to our diagnostic wax cell. So they hang on the molars back here since we're going from second by to second by. And you can see it's right on the line between the, the body third and gingival third so the doctor, when he's prepping, look in there and make sure to the tooth he's got uniform spacing. And the biggest thing that this is good for is to make sure that the points that are in the, the facial interproximals, that that your facial embrasure points of the matrix are pointing between the preps. A lot of times doctors, they ask us to shift things, but then they don't prep the case so that you can shift them. So, so these points, need to be pointing in between the preparations. What, what we've got with this case in, in finish form are our four putty matrices, the temporary putty matrix, incisal edge reduction, body to incisal reduction, and gentle reduction. And then before you get started on the case, To correct anything that's outside of the arch form, if you remember, we made these gross reduction guides out of a simple green suck down coping material. Gross reduction number one is for facial and lingual and occlusal reductions, and gross reduction number two is for an approximate slicing.